Look how dumb they are. Oh, oh. <sighs> Printer's fixed. Hmm. Oh, dang. Take it, your Amy, Rosa, Terry. I'm Jake. Uh, we're both Jake. Scully and Hitchcock. <laughs> if you get killed, what happens to all your debt? Loophole! Can I just give my case to Hitchcock and Scully? I mean, they clearly have a ton of time on their hands. Hitchcock hasn't even gotten out of his chair today. Hey, Jake, I can go anywhere in this thing. But you shouldn't. Hitchcock called himself Scully by accident. I did, but it brought me and Scully closer together. <laughs> Where is everyone, Gina? Perhaps that's tonight's first puzzle. I forgot to send the invitations, but I was able to rally the best and brightest of those available. Oh, dear God. Sorry, we're late. Turns out the front door is a push, not a pull. I never got into diets, though I did take diet pills in the 70s. I love these pills. They give me so much energy, and I can eat whatever I want. Oh, God. Actually, I was in a coma when I woke up. I had so much mail. Oh, oh, I was trying to cook my oatmeal with a road flare, but it caught on fire. Why are you using a road flare? You said the kitchen was off limit. Yeah, this is your fault, Sarge. Give me that. Hitchcock and Scully just set fire to the kitchen sink. Hmm. Oh, boy! Oh, boy! I've never been rejected from anything. Me neither. Oops, did you say rejected or ejected? I've been rejected a lot. I don't understand. My application was so good. You know what? I've also been ejected. Flume ride, Topeka, Kansas. How did this happen? Just forgot to put on the belt. Hey, what's going on with those files? Oh, we're not working on them. We're on strike. Hunger strike. You're eating potato chips. Chips don't count. My doctor said they have zero nutritional value. We want meatball subs. You had no right to take ours. Screw this. I'll log those files and teach the hazmat class. And I'll do everyone's work, because apparently I am the only one keeping this precinct together. They got into a fight over the ranch dressing, and now it's everywhere. <laughs> Scully and Hitchcock are just looking at each other. I'm a little worried they're not going to be able to. You son of a bitch! No! 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 OK, where it go? Ooh! Ah! Ooh! Ah! Oh my god, they're in a penis punch 69! Ooh! Ah! Sergeant Jefferson and I will talk to Cyber. Tell them I can't get on WebMD. My nipple tripled in size, and I want to know if it's good or bad. Can't believe that's good. I'm in a data backup deficit. We are in the same boat. I've been trying to load this video all day. You're watching videos doing work? I told him to do it, sir. It's uh, case related. Turtle Hump's computer mouse. Yeah, uh, Turtle is the name of a local pervert. We are chasing. All right, I need you guys to assemble this jigsaw puzzle for a case I'm working on. Why do we have to do it together? Yeah. Uh, cuz? Can't argue with that. Hey, Scully. Huh? We're sorry that we missed your party. Oh, don't worry about it. You, you all had stuff to do. Yes, the capital of Ecuador is Quito. Oh. Anyway, happy birthday from all of us. Thanks, guys. You're, you're the best. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Scully. Scully. I can't believe it. The fake birthday worked. You're a genius. We're both geniuses. <laughs> thumbtack book. That was my thumbtack book. Is this some kind of a clue? Canalizatia. Draw better. We have no idea what this is. I think it's a cookie. No, it's a pizza. <gasps> it's, it's a, a cookie pizza. pizza. Another case solved. But you don't know her like I do. She's too trusting for her own good. She's fallen for more Nigerian scams than Scully. She's fallen for 20 Nigerian scams? 20? That's insane. No, she's fallen for two. Scully's fallen for 20? Yeah. It's happening again. Rosa, Rosa! Hitchcock fell asleep in the break room. I pranked him. I tied his shoelaces together. You're 38 years old, dude. I know, and yet my pranks still stay so fresh. It's incredible. You gotta untie his shoes before he gets hurt. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously. Ugh, fine. But what's the worst thing that could happen? <gasps> He's being strangled oh, to death! Ow! I always knew I was the best cop in the 99, and now there's proof. Oh, man, my Paschetti! Hey, Jakey, the place on the corner is serving lemonade, and you get to keep the jar. It's pretty cool. Yes. 
That's very cool, Scully. Mm -hmm. Will you excuse me just one moment? Oh, sure. Guys, guys, guys. Scully has a mason jar full of lemonade. You called us in here to tell us that? No, I called you in here to change your lives. For you see, a mere five minutes ago, Hitchcock introduced me to his new goldfish who lives in... <gasps> An identical mason jar? Oh, this isn't gonna end well. There are two possible outcomes, and we're gonna bet on which one happens first. So, will Hitchcock put fish food in Scully's lemonade, or will Scully drink Hitchcock's goldfish? Now, you would think that putting fish food into lemonade Hitchcock would be... just drank his own fish. What? No! What? Scully, what's going on? Roger Peralta is under arrest for possession what? of a controlled substance. What? They found pills in his apartment. Jake, I don't know what he's talking about. I swear, I don't know how those pills got in my apartment. Wait, Jay, Scully, tell them we're cops. Tell them! Knew some of it, knew some of it. Shoot. <laughs> that means turnips. I, I said we were turnips. I, I got it, don't worry. We are turnips. Nope, that was English. Yeah. So I'm assigning you a new partner. Actually, partners. Yeah, there's definitely something in there. Looks like a peanut. Bet it's a cashew. You're on. That's weird. There's a smudge on this sign right over the H. There's a smudge on this H, too. Oh my God, why would you touch a hospital thing and then put it in your mouth? It's chocolate. Great instincts, never doubt yourself. We've officially lost the trail. Unless. No, that's not chocolate. What is that? But don't eat it again. My first question is, why are the two of you doing this self-evaluation together? Scully doesn't handle pressure well. <sighs> not to brag, but Scully and I have a combined total of 14 arrests. Would have been 20, but we only got 14. That's not enough arrests. Well, no one asked you. It's a self-evaluation. Come on, Scully. Oh, Hitchcock, thank God. Handcuffed yourself to a car. Been there. What? No, Charles did this. Here, quick, hand me those keys. There we go. What will you give me for them? Seriously? What do you want? A dollar for a soda. Mine are all wet. Yes, obviously I'll give you that. Bam! A soda only costs 75 cents, you fool. See you later, sucker. Didn't even give him the dollar. Oh, hello. Guys, 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 check it out. Hitchcock fell asleep in the break room, so I put his hand in a bowl of warm water. Come on, man, that's the stupidest prank ever. Uh, no, it's the smartest because it involves biology. I bet it worked already. Let's go check. Hitchcock, no! He's drowning. He's drowning! Fable, man! Could you stop kicking at things for one minute, Hitchcock? The TV's being a dick. You gotta turn it like four times just to change the damn channel. Four times? Try turning it to 22, 18, 81, 17. The coordinates for the Bay of Pigs. And the military building. Nice job. You broke the TV. It really sounds Slavic. Does anyone here know any Slavic languages? Oh, I'm great at languages. Watch this. Hello! I am Hitchcock! Thank you for the cookie pizza idea! What is this? It's a jack-o'-lantern. Don't touch it. Why not? Because you're hiding something in there? Because my daughter's made it and your palms are all black. What have you been touching? Huh. Well, this has got me stumped. So those threatening phone calls were being made to Tim Orsk of Timo's Limos. It's interesting. This Orsk guy's name keeps cropping up in this case. Because he's the victim. You know, he's the guy whose window was smashed with this rock. OK? He's being extorted for $10,000. Sure. But what do they want from him? $10,000. I just said that. We're trying to figure out who's doing the threatening. Wait, I have a theory. I think limousine and magazine come from the same word. Just focus! I'm sorry for snapping. I interviewed Orsk. Orsk, there it is again. Oh, you're useless. Look what I found. French fries? What? No, it's Hitchcock. Where would I have found French fries in a weed farm? Hey, Captain, something's going on with this heist. You tell us everything you know, and we'll tell you everything we know. I'd rather not. <laughs> Joke's on you. We don't know anything. Well, good day, then. Two bears spilled their drinks on you and stole your wallet. Those bears? Scully and Hitchcock. I can't put my head off! Be careful, don't let her see us. Then you should have got a disguise like me, idiots. Why do you even own that? I was banned from wing slots for using too much sauce, so I got it to sneak past the hostess. So far, it has not worked. 
Wait, the filter is coming! We need more time. Someone do something. I got it. Tear gas! Scotty! Scotty! Wrap my suit around your face! I am so sick of this city. I go into a coffee shop, and as soon as everybody sees that I'm a cop, they stop talking and they avoid eye contact with me. One lady even walked out. I am just so tired of being treated like the enemy. Hey, Hitchcock, your penis is hanging out. Oh, well, that's a relief. Oh, girl, you look so sad. You know what would cheer you up? <laughs> nice bowl of miso soup. No, thanks, Gina. I'm not in the mood. So, Gina, is that soup up for grabs? Scully, no. My followers are sick of watching you eat cement. Gina, you're a legend. <laughs> to the 9-9! Nine -nine. Nine -nine. Nine -nine. <laughs> Why do you hate us so much? I know you call me mean, Marge. Do you even know my last name? Hmm? Mop bucket? Scully, don't guess. Oh, please. No. Oh. Mop bucket, Scully! It's an educated guess. Check it out. Hitchcock got a tattoo. Mr. Nine Nine. Why are you putting a gun in your mouth? I'm blowing smoke off the barrel. It's cool. The barrel is fully inside your mouth. You're clearly about to kill yourself. You're just jealous, because he's got the arrest record and you don't. Yeah. Suck on this. Click. Pow. You pulled the trigger, man. That was a suicide. Looks like we're the only responsible people who show up on time anymore. And they're always calling us lazy. But where are they now? I don't see them. There, not here. But you know who is? Hitchcock and Scully. The oafs. The bozos. The idiots! What are you doing here? The building's being fumigated. There were so many emails. There were? We didn't. Lightweight. That's your takeaway?